Welcome to Rwanda and our short trip to see mountain gorillas in August 2018. Rwanda is a small country in central East Africa with mostly green mountainous landscape and lots of fertile agricultural land. We flew into the capital Kigali on KLM via Amsterdam and stayed at the Hotel des Mille Collines made famous by the 2004 film Hotel Rwanda. The city centre is pretty modern and international, but as we made our way out through the suburbs, it quickly became more interesting. The quality of the main roads was very good. Outside the city centre, there were few motor vehicles, apart from for tourists, and we saw extraordinary loads being carried on people's heads and on bicycles. We travelled northwest from Kigali and quickly reached open countryside. We didn't see a single tractor in the fields. Everything was worked by hand. This typical scene shows the man busy supervising, while the women, one with a baby on her back, do the digging. About three and a half hours after leaving Kigali, we reached the town of Ruhengeri and early the next morning made our way to the Volcanoes National Park Visitor Centre for our first trek. We met up with our guide, were driven to the start point and set off, initially through potato fields towards the National Park boundary. Once in the park we were joined by an armed guard in case we came across buffaloes and continued into the bamboo forest. And after less than an hour, we reached a troop of golden monkeys. To start with, they weren't easy to see, high above our heads and silhouetted against the sky. But before long, they began to come down and give us much better views. We had come to Volcanoes National Park to see mountain gorillas but decided to do this golden monkey trek first. It was a fun experience in its own right, but it also acted as a kind of trial run for the following day. We spent an hour watching the golden monkeys. In the afternoon, our guide took us on a scenic drive to two nearby lakes. The day of our gorilla trek began with an early morning start at the visitor centre to check permits and meet up with our guide. There are ten groups of gorillas visited in Rwanda. We had asked to visit one of the nearer groups, to avoid too challenging a trek. We were assigned to visit the Sabino group. There was an option to hire a porter, not just to carry backpacks, but also to provide help on steep muddy slopes. The trek was not too demanding, and we reached them in just under two hours. And there they were. We perched ourselves on the hillside and watched in wonder. To start with, they just sat around, resting. The gorilla groups you can visit are habituated, and so just ignore humans. Each group is visited only once a day for one hour, and left alone the rest of the time. There's a park rule that you don't go closer than 7 metres, but as you can see by my knee in the bottom of the picture here, the gorillas don't observe that. The altitude here varied from two to two and a half thousand metres, and it was cool by day, 
and quite cold at night. The hotel supplied very welcome hot water bottles, not something you might expect so near the equator. We'd been told that there was a baby amongst the group, and at this point a large female suddenly appeared, carrying the baby under her arm. The baby was about one month old. Stay, stay where you are. Don't worry. Our guide recognised this behaviour as the silverback indicating he was planning to move through where we were sitting. So we had to move aside. Not easy on a fairly steep and slippery slope with bushes either side. He actually brushed past me on his way up the slope. And where the silverback goes, the rest soon follow. Once they had all moved to their new spot, we followed and watched for a little longer. The adults were amazingly tolerant of youngsters climbing all over them. But our hour was soon up, and we had to leave. It was an amazing and unforgettable experience, which exceeded my high expectations. The next day we returned to Gigali and were the only two passengers on our onward flight to Tanzania to see the wildebeest migration.